some say the moon. Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. We shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston, a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses, several times more than have ever been experienced, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communications, food, and survival on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictate is out, then we must be bold. Prometheus, they say, brought God's fire down to man, and we've caught it, tamed it, trained it since our history began. Now we're going back to heaven just to look him in the eye. And there's a thunder across the land and a fire in the sky. Gagarin was the first back in 1961 when, like Icarus undaunted, he climbed to reach the sun. And he knew he might not make it, for it's never hard to die. But he lifted off the path and rode a fire in the sky. Yet a higher goal was calling, and we vowed to reach it soon. And we gave ourselves a decade to put fire on the moon. And Apollo told the world, we can do it if we Thank <laughs> you. 